everybody and welcome back to the third annual 13 nights of fright and welcome to night number 11 you guys we're just about there i know you're probably tired of me you're like stephanie if you don't stop popping up don't worry at least i don't do like the 12 or 25 or whatever days of christmas uh because I, this is a lot for me you guys so it's like i'm still trying to recover when christmas time comes let's not talk about christmas right this moment since halloween hasn't even officially arrived yet tonight we're going to be talking about 2022's netflix's the school for good and evil it's like yesterday's video this technically does not have horror within the genre it is a fantasy drama but again it is coming out during the spooky season and there's magic and there's like good there's evil and i guess we gotta get a little bit of spooky vibes i mean not really but you can make anything spooky right whatever it's my channel it's my series and i incorporate what i want to all right this movie is about these two best friends who are just the misfits of their town one is considered a witch because mama is a witch but like a bad witch and the other one just really wants to be uh like a disney princess she's like i am beautiful i am the fairest of them all and i just do not belong here and i want to like be more than you know this so she ends up finding out about this school for good and evil and kind of writes this note and puts it in this magical tree she kind of gets her wish granted the other best friend kind of like tries to interfere with her taking me you know swept away and they kind of both get taken uh one gets dropped into the school of evil and one gets dropped into the school of good but uh, apparently there was a mistake that happened even though there's technically no mistakes the little miss of sunshine i wanted to be a princess got dropped into the school of evil and she's considered a reader which course because she reads a lot of books the one that definitely does not want to be all dolled up and wear dresses and gowns and all this and it's like no about all this it's like this is wrong and all kinds of levels got dropped into the school of good now each of them do have their own deans uh this uh the dean for the school of evil is the beautiful charlie stone and the one for the school of good is of the very lovely uh carrie washington well they're both gorgeous i love them both but you know charlie stone she's not like my girl crush i have a little bit more love for her they're not of course the main characters even though the trailer i feel kind of tries to focus a little bit more on their stuff but this is really about the two best friends and their journey within this school one is trying to help the other friend and get her and so they can leave and go back home and the other one is just trying to prove to everybody that she does not belong in the school of evil that she is good and she is meant to be a princess there are secrets that kind of happen within uh, the school we do have a really nice star stun cast who are the professors here the, uh, the deans the headmasters whatever uh, but again they're just kind of to, I guess to get you to watch the movie because again the focus and everything is on the kids. Besides uh, Charlize and Carrie we also have Lawrence Fishburne and we also have Michelle Yoon. This movie honestly kind of reminds you of Disney's Descendants minus the singing portion of it. So if you're a fan of that movie but maybe not like a full full fan because you don't like the singing pretty much the same thing but without the singing so in the school of evil of course everything's very like dull and dungy and like looking ugly and we have like evil teachers and trying to you know teach you evil things and they're just all looking a hot mess they don't care about how they look because like why care about how one's presence looks when you can really be doing evil in the world and in the school of good everything is like nice beautiful prestige and it's just like let's have a smiling class here and you can fail in smiling class but again there's questionable things that happen like the consequences of failing three times and what happens to that particular student and how they're then incorporating within the school and again just kind of like things that are lurking within the shadows as well and the vanity of course of the school of good like again they're just all about how one looks again it is like a nice little movie that you can check out with your family again if you're not really into horror movies it's once again does not have horror within the actual theme of it it is a fantasy drama so if you are looking for a spooky movie to watch but you know you are not into the horror movies officially then this could be a nice little deal to check out because again you know it's just wearing a school 
and think Descendants without the music going on. And then there's like another movie that's kind of reminding me of, but I can't really think about it either. It's kind of cool though how they get to get their magical powers. And I do like the character development within the, the story. Um, one just really quickly. Oh, actually in the trailers you see it. So Sophia, again, she's the Miss Princess and I don't belong here. How she quickly, well not really quickly, but you know, ultimately was all like, okay, I'm gonna just have to do what I can do here and started owning that evilness in there of course she's a very shallow person but then again the princesses within this movie are very very shallow very mean they are the mean girls um agatha again she's the one that got dropped into the school of good and you kind of go into those uh things where you like friendship falls apart and then of course you kind of like kind of put it back together because there's like some stuff that kind of goes on within the midst of it all overall it was a pretty okay cute movie i enjoyed it i do see myself rewatched it at some point or another but of course before i do give you my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new i'm going to give the school of good and evil a you know what i'm gonna give it a I'll give it a medium popcorn. I kind of wanted to give it a small. I didn't like love it, love it. If you've seen uh, The School of Good and Evil, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you, did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you planning on checking it out? Again, it is on Netflix. So it's there for your enjoyment uh, whenever you want to see it. Because again, it's technically not a spooky movie. Uh, but it was cute enough. I like the little magical parts to it and all that other good stuff. All right, guys. So that's it for me tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Halloween. Look out for my very sexy costume. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.